Hey, I'm Dr. Sanders, and today I have the best review for you, one that seems to fit oh so well. In fact, you could say that it's perfect. That's right, The Cure, A Perfect Dream. This book is from 2018, and you know, it's a very cool and awesome book. So let's take a look at it. Now you may be saying to yourself, hey, I'm a big Cure fan. I've read a lot of Cure books. And you may be saying, why would I need to pick up this one? Well, you may not need to, but this book is unique in that it covers their history and it also uses a lot of the information that was in previous books about the Cure. So you have Lowell Tolhurst's book, Cured. You have 10 Imaginary Years, which is a much older book on the band. Also pulls from, I think, Never Enough, which all those books are great in their own right and they have cool bits of information. But this one seems to compile it and then combine it with like a coffee table book uh, don't get me wrong, it's not like a really small book. It's over 200 pages. But yeah, a lot of this is going to be photos and archival things like that. And it's nice to have it inside of this kind of presentation. I know it's very much taken for granted nowadays, but just having a kind of in-depth, cool-looking, very well-documented discography is awesome to me. I know people are like, oh, we have Wikipedia or we have Discogs or something like that. But it's nice to have it where you know, we have the album photo and we have the singles from the album are also pictured here, which I really like that, <laughs> you know, because you hardly ever see singles like, you know, like band releases a song that has a single and a cover, you know, cover art specifically for that single. And I feel like that's kind of lost or people just gloss over that, which is kind of dumb because a lot of people bought the singles back in the day, like the specific release of the singles. And it's nice that they document them here. I really appreciate that. It's a little tiny thing that I really liked. And some of the special little version things, like they have the cassette version of Concert, which I thought was cool, because it's a little bit different. Um, but outside of that, it does recount the history of the band, and it uses a lot of different interviews and things from TV and stuff over the years. And yes, because Lowell Tolhurst released his book, it does reference Cured a lot and focuses on his perspective quite a bit but it's one of the few very direct, in-depth looks we have from the band. It's not like Robert Smith has a book or anything like that, or Simon Gallup, which would be awesome. I'm saying if they release it, I will in fact buy it and read it. But of course, I think the focus of this book in a lot of ways is gonna be a lot of the photos and it covers a lot of stuff. It's pretty extensive in not only telling stories and like more obscure one-off things, but focusing on even Robert Smith's time with Susie Sue, and you have uh, when you met David Bowie and there's some really cool photos. There's like a photo with Robert Smith, Lou Reed, David Bowie, and Billy Corgan from Fashion Pumpkins, which that's, that's just pretty cool. I just think that that's an interesting photo to have in this book. But the photos that they do provide are really crisp for the most part. Like they look really good. The quality, the printing quality is just great. This is not a cheap cut corners type of book um, that you see sometimes, especially with these ones that focus heavily on photos and things like that. So I really like the quality of this one. It feels really heavy. It's heavy duty. I don't have too many super harsh criticisms on this book. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a history of the cure that has a lot of really cool photos and information along the way. Uh, I would say that probably my biggest criticism is that I kind of wish there was a little more in-depth coverage on some of these albums. Some of the albums only get like a page or two to describe the production and uh, you know, maybe a little bit more than that, but you know, the paragraphs are kind of interspersed with the photos and everything. And that probably just is coming from me. I read a lot <laughs> and I read books that have a lot of information on the making of a lot of albums. So that's probably my preference that's kind of swaying that is I want more to read in an actual standard book, but I still think it's really cool. Wanting more is a good thing for a lot of books and the album art and that kind of stuff. It is high quality. Some of the earlier photos and some of the more random photos, they're maybe not as high quality. You know, it's maybe hard to tell from like me videoing it, but some of them are a little bit blurrier, but that's probably because there's so many different forms of film used for capturing these photos over the years. So you can't really expect them all to be like super crisp, like a lot of the more modern ones are because modern cameras, you know, are just much more accessible where you know, over the decades, there have been probably a lot of different, you know, film formats that have been used for this. So 
Some of the photos may not be as high quality as other ones, but it's totally understandable. But yeah, of course, you'd want to hear more direct things from bands themselves. Like I said, the interviews with Boris is a good addition to this book. I just hadn't seen that anywhere else. A lot of his comments and stuff. He talks about why he left The Cure and everything. It's, like I said, it's not super in-depth, but it's just cool to have. So if you're looking for a book that covers the history of The Cure in a very cool way, something that you can put on your coffee table and people pick up and go, oh, is that a book on The Cure? And you can flip through all the photos and see how cool they are. And then when you're done looking at the photos, you want to learn more about them, then this is probably the book for you. It's one of my favorite ones at the moment. Also, the cover is kind of cool the way they did like the little little dripping effect on it. The presentation and stuff, some of the way it's laid out, it just depends on your taste, honestly, the way that some of the photos have graphics around them and the way it's laid out. Um, that really goes down to your taste. I think it's kind of cool they did something a little different. Uh, sometimes the graphics come up onto the photo. You know, you can still see the photo itself, but sometimes they'll have like a splatter that goes across like the bottom and something like that. It's kind of hard to describe. Here you go. You're probably looking at it right now, but it doesn't necessarily detract from it, but uh, I don't know. For my aesthetic preference, I'll let you guys decide on that one. But anyway, that is The Cure, A Perfect Dream. Really cool book. I just thought I would share my opinion on it. Like I said, what you see is what you get with this one. Uh, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can like, comment, subscribe, all those things. You know how it is. Anyway, make sure all of you out there stay safe and stay spooky.